Hi, my name is Nina. I am a crystal healer and Toltec shaman, and this week we're going to do the video on celestite, also known as the Stone of Angelic Attunement. So, a little bit about celestite. It can be found growing next to our near selenite, angelite, and halite, and oftentimes it is confused for angelite, but the difference between celestite and halite um, is that angelite tends to be more opaque and celestite tends to be a little more translucent. Also, um, angelite, if it gets in contact with water, it'll start to degrade and celestite will fade if you put it in the sunlight. So a little bit about celestite. Uh, the chakras, it works on the most. Um, so it's really a stone of connection. So the throat, so Conf um, and we'll get into the details, but the throat, the third eye, and the crown. Uh, it has a moon planetary or luminary energy like the moon. Uh, the zodiac signs it resonates the most with are Libra and Gemini. Its energy is very receptive and the element is air. Um, so working with celestite, this is a great stone to have if you are looking to uh, strengthen or build connection. Um, it's considered to be one of the angelic stones. It helps you really get in touch with the angelic realm. It's really good for getting in contact with your spirit guides. I love using the stone in meditation. Uh, it's great to be charged in the moonlight. Do not put it in the sun. It will fade. This pretty blue color will fade in the sunlight over time. Um, also, it's great for... Uh, emotional clarity so just getting clear in your emotions and self-acceptance this is a high vibrational crystal um, so with that being said I would have a good grounding practice um, while working with this crystal or pair it with a grounding stone um, such as brown tourmaline black tourmaline um, smoky quartz I think smoky quartz would pair well nice nicely with this. This is also good for soothing the mental bodies. Um, it's good for calming stress and anxiety and it f gives you courage to express. So if you do any kind of like public speaking or group work where you have to talk and you need to feel confident speaking your truth, celestite is a great crystal to have with you or in your pocket. Uh, if you keep this on your nightstand um, at night, you can put it under your pillow. It's really good for dream recall. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is that if you know anyone that's like paranoid, this is a great stone for them. It will calm them. It will soothe a lot of that paranoia. Uh, there's a lot more I could go on about celestite, but that is pretty much it in a nutshell. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely crystal. I don't know if you can see that, but just look at that. If you ever see a nice chunk, a lot of times I see it in geodes, but if you ever see it in a nice chunk, go ahead and pick yourself up one. Uh, otherwise, if you like this video, please like, share, comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any special requests, um, leave it in the comment section below or go to my website, crystalsunhealing.com. You can book a reading or a consultation with me. I also do energy work. And... Let me know you're around. I'm also on uh, Instagram, crystal underscore sun underscore yogi. And um, I'm also on Facebook, Crystal Sun Healing. And I'll see you next time.